Hi, good morning. It's another Sunday. Happy Sunday. Welcome to uh, Los Angeles LA First Church of the Nazarene. For this morning, for this beautiful Sunday morning, we will talk about be still and know that I am God. There are three important learnings for us to uh, remember uh, for this uh, Sunday morning. Number one, your faith says thank you. Number two, you're pre-wired to be imitators. And number three, you need to be still. Alam nyo, uh, minsan naisip mo ba na alam ba makawala sa mga otang ko? Now, maybe you have dream to get out of debt, you know, to pay off your car or your house or be free from that uh, burden of lack. Bagay, laging kulang. No? But it looks like it's impossible. Ay ka na lang napapalibutan ng mga bills, mga deadlines. Lalong-lalo na ngayon sa panahon ng pandemic. Alam niyo, 50% daw ng uh, mga tao ngayon dito sa Amerika ay nakaka-experience ang kakulangan. Kasi business is slow, the economy is down, no? Tsaka sometimes we, we've gone as far as our education allows, hindi na tayo baga, uh, makakuha pa ng ibang sideline kasi ito lang, limited lang yung ating pinag-aralan or ang ating training. No? Para bang nakatali tayo sa 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 kapangyarihan ng pera. Lalong-lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Pero alam niyo ang sabi ng Diyos. No? But God is saying to us, I am your God. Here's the thing, I am not limited by those things. I've got resurrection power. The, 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 just like the one I showed you before 2,000 years ago. I can give you one break that will thrust you to a new level. I can open up doors that no man can shut. I can bring talent out of you that you didn't know you had. I can cause people for no reason to go out of their way and uh, to want to be good to you. As simple as that. Walang rason. Bigla na lang magiging mabait sa'yo. Kasi he, he, he can do things Beyond sa comprehension natin. And sometimes sa panahon ngayon, ang maraming tanong ng tao, Lord, parang, parang tahimik mo. Parang hindi ka namin maramdaman. Parang ang bigat ng dinadala namin. And yet, parang, parang wala ka. Parang absent ka. Pero napakaganda na mapaalalahan ng talaga tayo kung sino ang Panginoon natin. Kung sino ang Diyos natin. Alam niyo, our part is to keep believing, knowing that He wants to bring great blessings to all of us. Gusto niya burahin yung utang mo. Gusto niya burahin yung problema mo. Gusto niya burahin yung sitwasyon. Gusto niya burahin lahat ng pinghati, lahat ng pain, lahat ng problema, lahat na nararamdaman natin na hindi maganda. But you need to allow Him. You need to keep on believing, knowing that He wants to bring you great blessings, not only financially, because this is not a prosperity preaching, but also spiritually. Most important of all, He can bless you. No? In all areas of your life, He is a God who can change hearts and who can change lives. Remember, He is reason. Na hindi lang tuwing Easter service, hindi lang tuwing Easter Sunday, He is alive. Siya lang ang Diyos na nag to be God na nabuhay muli. The other gods remain dead. And He is faithful to His word. Trust Him and let His resurrection power work in every area of your life. That's my encouragement to you. Ngayon ang tanong, eh pastor, how to be still nga po ba? No? What does be still and know that I am God means in Psalms 46.10? Sabi, be still and know that I am God. 
I don't know, the first half of the Psalms 4610 is a popular verse used to encourage believers to be still and silent before the Lord. This interpretation promotes a healthy test in the presence of God. Isa lang naman ang uh, napakaganda mensahe ng salmong ito. The Lord is a refuge of strength. He is our stronghold. More importantly, the Lord of hosts is with us at hindi niya tayo inuiwan. Balikan natin yung mga important learning natin sa umaga na ito. Sa napakagandang umagang linggo na ito. Alam nyo, una, your faith says thank you. Pangalawa, your pre-wired to be imitators. At pangatlo, you just need to be still at magtiwala sa Panginoon. Alam nyo sa habi sa Hebrews 11.1, faith. Ano nga ba yung faith? Ano ba yung pananampalataya? It is being sure of what we hope for and certain, sigurado, no? what we do not see. Ito yung bagay na siguradong alam natin no? na nandyan pero hindi natin nakikita. Number one, sabihin mo sa katabi mo, your faith says thank you. Sabi sa First Chronicles 16.34, Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His mercy and loving kindness endure forever. Yep. Alam niyo, sa pinaka thankful ata na alam kong creature ay, uh, creature ay ang aso. Ang aso, hindi ka pa, tuwing darating ka, kawag na kawag ng puntod. Di ba, pag uh, nagkalatog pinggan ka na, yan na, nire-ready mo na yung pagkain niya, hindi na siya mapakali. Hampas na ng hampas yung puntod niya doon sa yung uh, binti. At uh, panay ang kiss niya sa'yo, panay ang damba niya sa'yo. No? At uh, habang kumakain siya, kiti-kiti pa rin kanyang buntot. Bakit? Sinasabi niya doon na, thank you bossing, thank you bossing, thank you bossing. Kaya sarap naman. Sarap silang pakainin. Tuwan-tuwa tayo. Di ba? Uh, Gustong-gusto natin silang pinapakain kasi meron silang thankful heart. Alam niyo, one thing I've noticed is that when you live no, with an attitude of constant gratitude, not only will you thank God for what is done in your life, eto, you start thanking Him for, the, for what He will do in the future. No, hindi pa dumarating. Yun yung faith. Eh. Hindi pa dumarating, nagte-thank you ka na. Parang yung aso, hindi pa nga dumarating. Eh. Pinay-prepare pa lang. Papasalamat na. Sana may ganun din tayong klase ng puso. Sana may ganun din tayong klase ng pagpapasalamat at pananampalatay sa Diyos. Sana ang puso natin ay thankful. Kahit na sa mga sitwasyon na kagaya nito. Kahit na sa California, sa sa Oregon, sa Washington, itong West Coast, nasusunog halos lahat ng areas namin dito. Pandemic, <laughs> hindi pa rin natin ma-achieve, achieve yung flattening of the curve. Kung meron man, alam nyo, nandun pa rin yung risk. Amin na wala ng trabaho. Amin nagkaroon ng anxiety. Dami nagkaroon ng mental problem probably. Dami nagkaroon ng walang kasiguruhan. Sinabayan pa ng mga protesta, ng mga racism issues. Yung pagkakahati ng Democrat at Republican election. Pagkakahati sa Pilipinas ng Dilawan at saka ng mga pro-Duterte. Hindi pagkakaisa-isa ng mga tao. Lahat ng bagay, malaki, maliit, nakikitaan natin ang pansin. Nag-aaway sa social media. Pero sa lahat na nangyayari sa buhay natin ngayon, isang mensahe ang sinasabi na sa atin ng Diyos na matuto tayo magpasalamat. Dahil siya pa rin ang imperfect control. Alam niyo, you thank Him for opening doors to you. No? Maaring mag-open siya ng doors for you. Maaring you thank Him for increasing you that in spite of pandemic, meron kang nare-receive. Meron kang uh, trabaho. Or kaya meron taong nagbibigay sa'yo. 
You thank Him for bringing the right people into your life. Napakalaking blessing nun. Sabi nga, naalala ko isang kanta doon sa Veggie Tales. <laughs> a thankful heart is a happy heart. Sumusumaya. So, may experience yung kapayapaan, being still in the presence of God. The first requirement is that your faith says thank you. Because a thankful heart is a happy heart. Kay madaming blessings, kay konti, o kahit wala, matuto tayo magpasalamat. Kasi we're hoping in the future that God will bless us. And hindi naman siya mananatiling paasa na lang. Time will come that the Lord will show, show you who He is. Alam nyo, when we say thank you to God for the things that are coming, it is really actually you know, a declaration of faith in Him. Yun na yun eh. It's uh, saying, oh, God, I am sure of your goodness. I am sure that you're working in my life, that I'm going to thank you right now for what you're going to do. Even kahit tomorrow yan. Kahit ang daming gulo. Kahit pandemic. Kahit butas yung bulsa ko. Kahit, alam mo yan, hindi maganda yung pakatandam ko. Kahit madaming pigati sa puso ko. Mag-thank you na ako ngayon. Kasi you will change no, yung bukas ko. Yung tomorrow, parating yung blessing. Padating, parating yung, yung pag-asa. Ikaw, tatanungin kita. What are you thankful for? Hindi ating kailangan hintayin. Panahon ng Thanksgiving para magpasalamat tayo. Sa araw-araw, pwede tayo magpasalamat. I'm thankful for my health. Nang malakas ako, lakas pa ako sa kabayo. I mean, wala akong sakit. Ikaw, no? Wala ka naman nararamdaman. Maraming wala kang pera, pero pwede may pupasalamat. Thank you, Lord. Kasi mas mahal magkasakit. Ay, pasalamat tayo. Meron tayong bubong sa ibabaw ng ating mga ulo. Meron tayong sinisilungan sa ating home. Pasalamat tayo sa pamilya natin, sa ating asawa, sa ating mga anak, sa ating mga magulang, sa ating mga kapatid. Magpasalamat tayo sa mga kaibigan natin. Lalo na yung mga totoong kaibigan. Yung kaibigan mo na nandyan kahit wala ka. Kahit wala kang ibibigay. Nandiyan sila. Yun yung mga tunay na kaibigan. Yung mga kaibigan mo na sa panahon na malungkot ka, nandiyan sila. Hindi yung kaibigan mo lamang dahil may kailangan sila sa'yo at meron kang pwedeng gawin para sa kanila. Pasalamat tayo sa mga kinakain natin araw-araw. Bigay man yan, pinagpaguran man natin, kahit saan man galing yan, galing pa rin yan sa Diyos. Kaya ka, what are you thankful for? Mga kapatid, that's a kind of faith that pleases God eh. He wants us to trust in His goodness and believe that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. He delights in seeing our faith. Kagaya ng how we delight in seeing yung faith ng isang aso na papakainin natin. He delights in an attitude of gratitude. Kagaya ng pag-delight natin sa isang, sa isang puppy no, na nagpa-puppy eyes. No, meron siyang attitude of gratitude. Dahil alam niya, papakainin mo siya. Sabi nga sa 1 Thessalonians 5.18, Give thanks in all circumstances. Kaya maganda ang sitwasyon, kaya pangit. Kaya maayos, kaya magulo. Kaya meron o wala. I mean, give thanks. Matuto tayong magpasalamat. Let your faith say Thank you. Hayaan mong yung pananampalataya na nagsasabi na, na, na you're hoping for, na alam mo na sure na sure na darating, pero hindi mm, mo lang nakikita, pero your faith, yan yun, yan yung klase ng pananampalataya na dapat magpasalamat sa, para, sa pang-araw-araw. No, we need to praise Him throughout the day with an attitude of joy and expect to see His goodness in every area of your life. Kasi pag nang expect ka, Sigurado, ipibigay niya. Ikaw ba naman isang magulang nag expect ng anak mo ng isang bagay o isang pagkain o isang sambagay na alam makabuti sa kanya? Anong klaseng magulang? Kahit yung klaseng magulang na napakasama, sigurado ko ibibigay. Kasi nag expect na yung bata. Ganun ko rin kung nag expect ka sa Diyos sa pagpalain ka niya. nag expect ka sa Diyos sa baguhin niya ang buhay mo. nag expect ka sa Diyos sa baguhin niya ang puso mo. Sigurado. Hindi sinungaling ang Diyos kakawin at kakawin niya. 
Number two, sabi natin, your faith says thank you. Number two, you're pre-wired to be imitator. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, manggagaya ka daw. Ayan, manggagaya ka, choosing to follow God. You are an imitator. Sabi sa Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 to 2, be imitators of God. Therefore, as daily love children and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave Himself us, uh, gave Himself up for us as a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. Be imitators of God. Kaya ako ang personal vision ko to be more like Christ. Ang aking personal mission is to make Christ-like disciples in all nations. Matanong kita, have you ever spent time with a small child or baby and had them mimic your every sound or action? Now, dalas ko itong ginagawa dati sa mga anak ko, lalo na ng mga baby sila. Alam niyo, to them it's a fun game. But internally, they are learning by watching and copying everything you do. Kaya be careful. Lahat na nakikita sa atin ng mga anak natin, kinokopya nila kahit minsan hindi natin iutos. No? They just watch and do the same thing. That's because we are all pre-wired to be imitators. When I was a, a store manager in Jollibee, naalala ko, uh, napansin ko, pag ganito yung haircut ko, halos lahat ng crew ginagaya yung haircut ko. <laughs> pag nagpalit, susubukan ko, magpalit kaya akong haircut. Pag nagpalit ako ng haircut, kagayahin na naman. Kasi you're not telling them na gayahin ka nila, pero they're pre-wired to be imitators, especially if they look up to you. If someday they want to be like you. Gaya nung anak ko, I never told her to to study uh, biblical studies in Point Loma Nazarene Universities. Uh, university, universities. <laughs> University. I mean, she took up two courses. One is business number two is biblical studies. I never asked her you know, to, to study about being a pastor. She just wanted to because we are pre-wired to be imitators. Para tayong mga bata, gustong-gustong natin gayahin si Spider-Man, gustong-gustong natin gayahin si Superman. Just like little children, we're all still imitators kahit matanda na tayo. Diba, kadalasan na sinasabi natin pag nag-uusap tayo, ah nga, naalala ko yung sabi ni Pastor, yung sabi nga ni Pastor. Ah, naalala ko yung nasabi ni Pastor. Same thing, usapan lang yun. Pero na, kung ano yung nasa puso mo, kung ano yung laging kinakarga mo sa puso mo, yun lumalabas. So many people today end up imitating what they see in the world. Yun lang. On TV, in the news, and magazines, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. But Scripture tells us that we are to be imitators of God and follow His example of love. No, sabi sa Ephesians 5, 1-2, Be imitators of God as dearly love children and live a life of love just as Christ loved us and gave Himself up for us as a fragrant, no? fragrant napakabangong offering and sacrifice to God. Alam niyo, kung nag-minister sa itong pinagkakwentuhan natin o discussion natin o itong preaching na ito. And if you need to change your actions today, you need to change what you are imitating by simply changing your focus. The more you focus on the Word, the more you will imitate God. And when you do things God's way, you will get God's results. As simply as that, you get peace, you get joy, and blessings all the days of your life. That's why every Sunday, I'm sorry, every Wednesday, some midweek sermon, we started in a journey walking through the Bible. We started from Genesis last Wednesday, and we will end up 52 weeks, you know, after 52 weeks from Genesis to Revelation. Wala, wala naman akong intensyon na i-discuss yung buong book, per, yung buong book ng Genesis. Pero at least, ano yung nilalaman ng Genesis para magkaroon ng interes yung tao na magbasa. Kasi kapag nababad tayo sa salita ng Diyos, 
ano magiging resulta and when we when we do things god's way we will all get results god's results there's peace there's joy no and in be still and blessings all the days of our life but look you need to be still kumpara sa tabi ka sabihin mo sa kanya six feet apart <laughs> with a face mask you need to be still yeah be still at the nothing main verse be still and, and know that i am god karon ka nakapayapaan sa puso mo at uh, alamin mo na mapaalalahanan ka sana na ako pa rin ang dios may isang, isang awitin, hindi ko na awitin kasi baka naman di kayo makinig. <laughs> Masarado niyo yung TV niyo or laptop or cellphone niyo kung saan niyo may pinapanood itong video na to. Pero sa, mayroon sa awitin na madalas inaawit sa simbahan at uh, napakaganda ng message. Kung gusto niyo kantahin, kantahin niyo. Pero pabasahin ko na lang kasi I'm after the lyrics. I'm after the message. But if you want to put melody... Melody sa, sa kanta na to, it's up to you. Sabi dito, hide me now. Under your wings, cover me with your mighty hand. Find rest, my soul, in Christ alone. Knowing His power and quietness and trust. And when the oceans rise and thunders soar, I will soar. I will soar with you above the storm. But you are king over the flood. I will be still and know you are God. It's a beautiful song. I'm sure kinakanta niya sa inyong isipan. At pag kinantayan sa simbahan, ay siya sigurada na altar call na, pastor. Di ba? <laughs> Ang pagandang kanta. It reminds us, no? Na kapangyarihan ng Panginoon, ang kanyang kakayahan, na kahit na bagyo, pwede niya patagilin kahit kanan. Alam niyo, when God created Adam, He put him in the Garden of Eden. Ano ba yung Garden of Eden? A very quiet, peaceful, tranquil place. That's where God met him and spoke with him. It's a place of peace. I wonder what Adam and Eve look like today. No? Ano ba yung sura nila? Caucasian ba sila? Dark ba sila? Yellow Asian ba sila? Brown Asian ba sila? Middle East Asian ba yung sura nila? Ano kaya? Pero sa totoo lang, doesn't matter. Hindi naman tumitingnan dyan sa kulay ng balat natin. Eh. Dahil lahat ng buhay para sa kanya, it matters, uh, it matters to him. Alam nyo, ah, uh, Nilagay si Adam, nilagay si Eve sa Garden of Eden. Sabi natin, it's a place of tranquility, a place of joy, peaceful place. Pero sa totoo lang, today's life can be very noisy. Hindi ka gaya ng Garden of Eden. Noisy kasi if we allow, if we, if we allow it, all of us can live a stressful life. Masyadong uptight. No, always in a hurry and on edge. Dahil ayan na yung deadline, ayan na yung submission, andyan yung kailangan, merong sales, kailangan na-achieve yung, yung goal. In the midst of the whirlwind of activity going on around us, alam na yung mga, kung ano ang mga pangyayari na pumapalibot sa atin, we got to learn to not let the business the frustration and stress of this world get on the inside of us. Uh, pamilya ka ngayon eh, pagka nagka-family bonding, parang lahat. Kahit kami, parang lahat. <laughs> Family bonding, pero ta kami na isang resort, pero lahat kami ata eh, nasa laptop or nasa tablet. Now it may be hectic on the outside. But deep down in your spirit, no? kahit yung palibot nyo, napakagulo, napakahectic, napakabisi, but deep down in your spirit, you can be at rest because you know God has you in the palm of His hand. Sabi nga sa Isaiah 49, 16, See, 
I have engraved you in the palm of my hand. Ganun ka kamahalan, Diyos. Alam niyo, maybe you have been worried for a long time or stressed because probably a dream hasn't come to pass or you're upset over a challenge you're dealing with, especially ngayong pandemic. Especially ngayon ngayon, may mga racism issues. Especially ngayon election ngayon dito sa US. Especially ngayon sa madaming protest. Especially ngayon sa buong West Coast ata on fire. Especially ngayon sa Pilipinas na uh, hati yung gobyerno, yung, yung oposisyon. Especially ngayon na, na ang daming nakakasakit, madaming walang trabaho. Eh sigurado ganito yung tsura natin. Madaming tao ngayon na kasibangan. Alam nyo, let me just remind you, just like God met Adam at a place of peace, God is like saying to you, and you need to hold on to this, no, Adam, Eve, or ikaw mismo na nakikinig ngayon at nanonood ngayon. The Lord is telling you there may be trouble all around, but I'm calling you to a place of peace, a special garden of Eden for you. You need just to be still and know that I am God. You need to come to me and I will give you wisdom. I will give you strength and grace for everything you face. You just need to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. You just need to accept Him as your Master, as your Commander-in-Chief, and leave a beautiful relationship with Him. And your eternity, and your eternity will start today. Para isang usa, isang usa. Alam niyo, isa sa mga isa sa mga pinakapraning na nanilalang yata ay ang usa kasi ano sila eh, prey. Prey ng mga predator kagaya ng leon, mga ano, uh, mountain lions or mga wildcats or tigers or whatever. Feeling nila parang palaging may kakain sa kanila. Kaya kapag nakakuha sila ng isang lugar na they can find tranquility, they can find peace. It is a joyful piece of garden of Eden para sa kanila. Na pwede silang humilata, huminga, ang walang pangamba. Alam niyo, sa munda natin ngayon, maraming leyon, maraming tigre, madaming predator, mga sitwasyon, mga tao, mga pagkakataon. Pero sabi ng Diyos, humilata ka, magpahinga ka, I'll keep you safe, I'll watch over you and I will provide all your needs. I will protect you because I love you. Huwag po natin kalimutan sa araw na to. That number one, your faith says thank you. Number two, you're pre-wired to be imitators, imitators of God. And number three, You need to believe. You need to be still and know that He is still the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for drawing me to the place of peace like this Garden of Eden that you gave to Adam and Eve. I, I choose to be still, Lord God. That is my choice. I choose to be still as you encourage me to be still. I know that you're still God in my life. I choose to find rest in you, Lord God. I choose to trust you, knowing that your days are ordered, that my days, my days are ordered by you. I choose to put you first, Lord God, in my life and imitate you. I, I set aside the things of the world and invite you to search my heart and my mind. Lord, give us, give us your heart, Lord God. Give us your love and teach, teach us, Lord God, to be an example of your goodness. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for your resurrection power that is always at work in my life, Lord God. I thank you today, Lord God. I give to you my broken dreams, my disappointments over this pandemic, this uh, uh, brush fires, this uh, uh, protest, racism issues. Divisiveness, failures, setbacks, trusting that your resurrection power is at work in me. 
I trust you, Lord God, that you have a good plan for my future. And you are leading me into total victory. Thank you for another day to praise your name. Thank you for all you have done in my life and for what you will do tomorrow. Because we're hoping, we're hoping, Lord God, we have this faith for you. Help us, Lord God, to see your hand of blessings as, I, as we continually praise your name. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. By the greatness of the Father, to the love of the Son, and by the infinite power of the Holy Spirit, you are all blessed. God bless you. We will be reopening soon. Hopefully our target day will be uh, on October 4 next month. If you are from downtown LA, especially you're a Filipino, or you know somebody who's Filipino, please uh, send them to us. We invite you personally to come and join us, worship with us, Third Street Corner Vermont, uh, LA Church, LA Church, Los Angeles, LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene in Los Angeles, or uh, our other name is also Walk by Faith Church of the Nazarene. Thank you. Parami salamat po sa napagandang umaga na to. God bless you. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye.